Hello and welcome to another UMake tutorial series. My name is Nico and in the next couple of lessons I'm going to teach you how to make a pretty cool looking combination padlock thing. Uh, my goal in these tutorials is to help you make something that's pretty neat in just a couple lessons. So let's dive right in and get to it. The first thing I want to do is go to the top view. Right now I'm in the front view. That's the default view you land in when you create a new scene. So I'm going to go to the top view here. And what I want to do is I want to sketch a circle. So my circle is now sketched. And you'll see that when you sketch a circle and you make it automatically uh, fills in a surface. Uh, that's pretty helpful because a lot of times you're going to create a surface anyways. The next step is I want to make sure that my snap to grid tool is on. Right now I have this enabled, uh, but just make sure that you uh, tap it once to turn it on, tap it on once to turn it off. So tap it to turn it on. It should be a blue color. The icon is the one with the little uh, dots. That's a snap to grid tool. And the reason I want that is I want to take this circle and I want to move it over to the center of the grid for this project. Now, depending on the scale that you're working in, uh, you may want to scale the circle up or down a little bit. I'm just going to make this a tad bit bigger, kind of scale it up just a little bit, just to make sure that it's a size that looks good to me. All right, once I'm done with that, I'll tap the green check mark. Then I'm going to orbit down and I want to select just the uh, outer circle. So I'm going to double tap on that and I have the outer circular curve. And what I want to do with this is extrude it up to give some thickness to the body of the lock. So I'm going to tap extrude and then come down just a little bit and just pull this yellow handle up to get until I get to thickness or something that I like. So there we go. I like that and that looks pretty good all right once I'm done tap the green check mark to exit out of the extrude tool and I'm actually going to do that one more time I'm going to select this curve this time tap extrude and this I just want to extrude just a little bit you'll see what we're going to do with it so I'm just going to extrude it up just a tad bit not very much we go and I'll select this curve one more time and I'm actually going to scale this down the reason for this is I kind of want to make like a little chamfer so I've now gone ahead and scaled that down you can see that we have a nice kind of chamfered edge here once I'm done tap the green check mark one more time and it automatically went ahead and filled in this surface. I actually don't really want that right now, so I'm going to double tap on the surface and I'm going to erase that so that we have kind of a hollow body right now. So now we have uh, created the body of the combination lock. In the next tutorial, we're going to create kind of the center uh, portion and then uh, and, um, the actual lock part. And then in the tutorial after that, we're going to go ahead and add some details and change the materials. So I hope this tutorial was helpful and easy to understand. If you have any comments or questions or feedback for us, feel free to let us know on our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter channels. Uh, stay tuned for the next step in this series.